What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be showing you my entire road trip setup for our 12 hour drive to Disney and the beach. So this is a two in one trip for us. It's going to be me and my husband and my three and a half year old Ellie Rose. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Becca. I share all kinds of Disney planning content, tips for taking little kids to Disney World, as well as vlogs here at home and all of our travel adventures along the way. So I would love for you to stick around and subscribe, but let's go ahead and dive into to today's video. I'm also going to be sharing some helpful road trip travel hacks. So lots of good stuff packed into today's video. Let's get started. Starting out in the front and then we'll work our way back. So I am usually in the passenger seat for a good chunk of the road trip. I enjoy driving, but Andy enjoys driving more. So he will be driving the majority of the time. But this is my little mommy bag. This is the Petunia Pickle Bottom sling bag. I love that it's so compact so I can have it on the floorboard and it doesn't take up a ton of my foot room. So I have some water wipes. I have feminine products, my wallet some hand sanitizer spray and my portable charger and then in the front compartment this is actually insulated which is really awesome but i have a bunch of snacks so we have our snack bag in the back seat but just to have a few things that are really easily accessible so this will stay up with me and that way in case we need to run into a gas station or you know this is just really easy to grab but it'll just sit here most of the road trip. And then I am keeping Ellie's tablet as well as her charger right here. That way she doesn't have as easy access to it and I can kind of control and monitor a little bit more how much screen time she gets. So that will stay up front with me as compared to in her activity basket. So coming to the center console. Okay, so we have our Bluetooth connector as well as a phone charger. And then this little compartment in here, I have a ton of quarters. It is just packed full with probably, probably $10 worth of quarters in here. So that'll be really nice for tolls. We are very much prepared. I priced out the Sun Pass to see if it would be worth it to go that route. And because we rarely drive through Florida, it just made sense for us to have coins this time. So we are prepared for all of the tolls. And then right here in the center, I have some tissues and then we have a DVD player in our car. So my mom actually brought a bunch of DVDs. So I have all of those in a little Ziploc bag. So that will stay right there. Coming all the way around, we decided to move Ellie's car seat to be behind the driver's seat. That way we could fold down one single seat to give us some more room for our trunk space. And then we have these two middle seats still up. So what I've decided to do, I have our cooler packed and that way she can put her feet on top of this, but we can actually open this and still reach in and reach and get drinks as compared to having to unzip it. It would be a little awkward for me in the passenger seat to try to reach all the way through there. So I love that this style cooler has this little Velcro lid where I can reach in and just grab anything, but she can also put her feet on top of this. And then in the very center is our snack bag. So again, I have some things that are a little more easily accessible in my mommy bag in the front, but I also have a ton of snacks in here so i emptied a bunch of boxes okay move <laughs> into this gallon ziploc bag and then i also have a ton of other snacks in here as well but mostly everything that is for my preschooler is in this ziploc bag and then right next to the car seat in this middle seat i have her activity basket where she can really easily access whatever she needs she can reach most of this I would say like 80% of this by herself. She may need help getting some of the crayons and markers out, but outside of that, she can reach and grab whatever she needs. So I keep her little basket, you know, pretty easily accessible. Quick intermission inside to show you what's in this activity basket and go into a little more detail because it is so dang hot outside and I am roasting. So I needed a break to come inside and show you this basket. So let me take a couple things out so you can see, but. I love this 
car middle seat. I mean, you could put this on the floor. You could really do anything with this, but I love this basket so much. It has all kinds of exterior pockets. So great for snacks, pens, markers, you know, anything. And then this actually Velcros. So you can take this out if you want, but it has uh, little mesh sleeves on both sides. So more storage and organization. And then again, more pockets on this side as well. I have an extra little phone charger right here. Let me go ahead and show you what I have inside here. So I have my daughter's headphones for her tablet, this little neck pillow, which has always been hit or miss, <laughs> but this kind of looks like a mess in here. It's basically just a bunch of little like trinkety Dollar Tree, toys and just stuff that she can reach in and grab and it's kind of like a little treasure box of stuff and all just very random little things there's some mcdonald's toys a little poly pocket so really fun she can just reach down in here and grab whatever and all of this you know i spent what 10 bucks on all of this you know combined since last year so you know, everything is super cheap. I have a couple of little mini Play-Dohs. We've done the car seat tray in the past and I just wasn't a fan of it. It was too bulky. One more thing to keep track of in the back seat. So we're not gonna do it this time. We'll see how it goes with the Play-Doh with no car seat tray. I really think it's gonna be perfectly fine. I have these little matching cards. So these will be really fun. I also have in here some markers and crayons is in here. So this is what I was mentioning that she may need help reaching down in here to get crayons if she wants to color. But then I have a bunch of other little coloring book options. So a ton of stuff in here. I have a regular book. We have some mess free coloring books. I have a regular coloring book. These are from the dollar section in Target. They come with a coloring book, stickers, and more crayons, so really fun. And these are great to just pop in your bag, like if you have a mommy bag, diaper bag, whatever, and then you always have just a fun activity to pull out at any time. I have this LED coloring tablet. It comes with the little pencil. You can tie it down here as well, but I just have it clipped up here. But these are so cool. And then you just uh, click the button to erase. And then I also have these puffy reusable mermaid stickers. So I figured she would be really excited about this. I have this I Spy book which I got this a while ago. So that might be something fun that we can do together. And then a couple of different coloring books, a regular book, and then this really neat magnetic alphabet board. I talked about this in a vlog in my last video, and let me push this down so you can see. But basically they can practice writing letters. So really amazing. I mean, isn't that so stinking cool? And then the little pen is tied to the board. And then on the other side, is all lowercase letters. So this thing is so neat. I mean, I'm pretty excited about this. And this is something that she'll use beyond a road trip, especially now starting preschool. Like it's just the perfect stage for that kind of activity as she's being introduced to letters and the concept of like writing her name and things like that. So really fun, but that is everything that is in her little travel road trip basket. And again, I've tried to make everything stuff that she can do independently. And that way I'm not having to reach back and help her like every 30 seconds. <laughs> Coming around to the other side, this is the seat that we flipped up. So underneath here is our beach canopy. And then I have this beach tote, which has all of our beach bags, beach toys, Ellie's beach chair. So anything beach related is in this bag. And this really doesn't need to be easily accessible as well as our beach chairs. So, you know, we just kind of slid all of this to the front. That way we don't even have to worry about it, you know, when we're getting in and out of the trunk, you know, getting our things in and out when we get to Disney. So all of this will either just stay in the car or we might bring it up. I'm not quite sure yet, but either way, we've got it out of the way, out of all the middle of our stuff. And then this tote right here, this is a collapsible tote. So on our drive home, after we have used, you know, a lot of the things, if we don't need this for whatever reason, we can collapse this and just turn it sideways and it doesn't use up any space, which is really nice. But for right now, everything I have in here, I have 
some Ziploc bags, some laundry detergent, some veggie straws, my daughter's portable potty seat, a box of applesauce, and just some more snacks that I've shoved in there. <laughs> I also have a Target bag that we can use for trash. So I might need to actually move this towards the front of the car, but it's always nice to just have extra bags for whatever reason. I have my daughter's water bottle, which is currently empty, some disinfectant wipes, paper towels, just in case. I mean, you never know. Whatever kind of mess that can happen in the car, I wanna be prepared for it. And then in this bag is an emergency change of clothes for my daughter, just in case she has an accident or spills something all over herself. She has a change of clothes, clean underwear. I have multiple pairs of clean underwear in here, and we can just pull this little bag out if we need to on our road trip. Moving to the trunk, we have actually utilized the space really well, I feel like, and we've kept things pretty minimal. So of course we have our two suitcases right here, as well as my daughter's stroller. And then of course you can see <laughs> the tip of this beach canopy here. But I wanted to make sure that we left at least a little bit of space just in case we need to pull over to the side of the road and do an emergency potty break. We have our little portable potty ready to go. I know they make travel potties that you can actually insert a little bag that you know clips on in and then when they're done, you just pull the bag right out. But I just wanted to use what we already had instead of going out and buying yet another thing for the trip. And this is the potty that we had at home. So I tried to get creative and think, how can I still utilize this on a road trip and it still be sanitary and easy? So this is the solution. Even though my daughter is potty trained, I still had some nighttime diapers left over that we just never used in the bottom of her drawer. So my plan is, and I can't take credit for this hack, I will say. <laughs> I think I saw this on Pinterest somewhere, but what I'm gonna do is take the potty and you put the diaper in the potty seat. And then whenever she's done, you obviously just pull the diaper right out, throw it in the trash, and you're good to go. And then if you do need to wipe anything else down, I have wipes, disinfectant wipes, and we can make sure that all of that is clean for the next time she has to go. So that is my hack. If you have a potty seat like this and it doesn't accommodate a bag very well, I've attempted <laughs> using a bag in this and it just doesn't work. And my daughter just doesn't wanna sit on plastic hanging over the edges. So I figured, you know what, this is gonna be <laughs> a great solution to that and it's super easy to clean up and obviously it absorbs everything and so you're not having to deal with a bag of liquid i don't know this is probably way too in-depth for <laughs> a travel potty setup but i thought it would be helpful at least for someone <laughs> because i didn't quite know what i was gonna do and i was trying to look up other scenarios because I just didn't want to go out and buy a different kind of travel potty, something that we would use just on road trips, which are so rare. We, you know, go on these kind of road trips once a year. So I don't know. I just didn't want to have to invest in yet another potty seat because we already have our travel portable potty seat. We have our collapsible potty seat. We've got a potty seat here at home, like so many potty seats. So. This was just a solution to not go out and buy yet another thing. So, and in case we do need to do an outfit change, we have a little bit of space right here to be able to accommodate that as well. But that is pretty much how we have set up our back trunk. Super minimal, <laughs> super easy. So nothing fancy, but that's pretty much it. Okay, one more thing I wanted to share, and obviously not every car is gonna have this, but let me see if I can get a good angle here. We do have an actual outlet back here. So my plan is, I know it's not focusing on it, but there is an outlet right here. <laughs> but my plan is to be able to plug in Ellie's tablet and we have an extra long charging cable. That way I'm not even having to worry about charging her tablet up in the front. We can charge it right here in the very back. All right, the wind is getting crazy here, but <laughs> that wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful, seeing how we have packed up our car, set everything up for a very long road trip with a preschooler. So thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.